is up everyone and welcome back to another Animus unboxing. Today we're going to be unboxing the gallery air compressor set. Now, I received this a call, uh, you know, a week or so ago, maybe a little bit longer. I uh, just haven't had the time, you know, with the, uh, with you know, the local competition starting and everything with, for the Gundam uh, Worldwide Builders Cup. Um, I haven't had the, I haven't had the time, but since now we're going to jump into that build, I'm definitely <laughs> going to unbox this now so we can go ahead and test it, test drive it through the uh, build process for that kit so in-depth review coming soon right uh, stay also tuned for the actual build uh, for the uh, for the competition so uh, that's actually super exciting so I'm, re I'm really satisfied with what it's gonna look like I already have it all planned out so let's hope for the best right uh, so let's go ahead get ahead and get started now I have uh, unboxed other gallery products before now let me remind everyone Last time we did review the Swallowtail airbrush and then, you know, we did encounter some issues. Gallery did correct the issue with me uh, and they did uh, send another one out that had zero issues at all. Now, those of you have been very active in my comments and for that video, uh, I love your feedback because that way, you know, that's, that's good. So that way these companies know what they can improve on uh, based on everybody's feedback, right? So uh, that's great. So now we're gonna go ahead and deal with the unboxing itself. So this air, air compressor set, uh, they do have a few of them available. This is just one of the options. Uh, so this is the dual drive series, the GT918. So uh, I'm told that this one has a tank, so we will take a look at it whenever we do unbox it. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's, see what's inside the box. So in the, just to start off the box, you have your quick start guide, which is a instruction manual. We never read those, but we might have to read it with this one. We'll see. And then what else is inside the box here? So we also have one hose. That's that's always promising. I, I mean, you know, I never get hoses with my stuff. Uh, and then here, that seems to be the power cord. Okay, so it seems like this is going to be... Um, I'm gonna have to pull this out completely. Just give me one. Let me just go ahead and get that out of the box. All right, so it seems like we have a couple more things in the box. So I do have the compressor here and we do have some other little uh, knickknacks over there. So let's go ahead and put this box to the side and get started. All right, so I do believe this is a dual port um, airbrush compressor, right? So uh, let's go ahead and open up the instructions and see uh, what else we got over here. preparation safety all that stuff we don't care about safety we just care that it works uh yeah so it do have it does have two ports so it does bring two hoses right it brings you got the airbrush the two hoses uh this is awesome they actually included these uh, now water traps are very important for those of you that have been that are not familiar with how these work uh these trap the, any water that might be running through your lines so these are very handy uh, I currently have one that's running on my water air, uh, compressor, uh, plus I have one on the hose, and then, you know, that's, I have the dual safety there, as one might say, uh, try to catch that with those water particles, uh, so you don't splash that all over your model kits while you're painting, right? So let's go ahead and uh, unwrap this right here. All right, so I have to say that this is super light, considering uh, it brings a tank. Um, so it has an auto start, auto stop. It has a one liter tank included in it on it. Uh, if you can see right here, this is a tank right here. You can see a drain valve too. That's a, that's actually super handy. Um, so for those of you that are not familiar with what this is, uh, usually whenever you are using an airbrush or any type of air compressor that has a tank, it, con it has condensation inside the tank. So water accumulates up and then it clogs up or it just goes through your line, right? This is actually very handy because all you have to do is unscrew it and um, and drain it. Now this one is super tight in there, so I can't really take it out by hand. I'm gonna have to un unloosen it and you know just tie just quickly just tying it by hand there, uh, so it could be so it could work. Uh, let's see here. So this one has like a little looks like glue. Looks like there's glue in there. Let me take a look here. Looks like it's got like a little liquid there. I'm not sure what that is. Um, seems like a sealant. Yeah, it seems to be a sealant. Okay, so it seems to be sealant that's coming from one of the one of the connectors, which is fine. You know, it's not that's not an issue. I uh, love the fact that they included the two valves in here. That's always helpful. Uh, you got your on and off button right there. 
you got your two valves one of them is covered in case you didn't want to in case you don't want to use it we will be using both uh, now one thing that I did notice is that this is loose so I'm guessing we, I just have to tie in the knob here let me go ahead and tie that up all right nice and tight so if you did order one of these um, if you did order one of these and it's loose like for example for example this right here let's see if it focuses this right here is a no-no uh, I don't know who did this I don't know who did this like this is why I like unboxing my uh, my stuff um, this is why I like unboxing my stuff like in the on, my, on the camera because that way I can see what's wrong and what's working and what's not so so I did see I did see that being loose there um, and now noticing off the top somebody whoever screwed this on um, I do like the fact that they included they uh, they included these so you can use the stands because they did include two stands there for airbrush so this is good this is actually great and then you just put your two airbrush stands right here you put one on one side if it wants to go in there you go this needs to be tightened too or does they just rotate no they just rotate okay awesome perfect all right let me go ahead and put this one here as well all right awesome yeah that's great that's cool because you can you know you have that flexibility there so it's not just stiff uh this i am very upset about i don't know why yeah, I can't even I, I can't even pull it out without risking breaking the valve itself. So at least the valves work. Um, I have a problem with this. This needs to get fixed. Give me one second. All right, so welcome back. So I ended up having to use my parts separator to yank it out. Um, let's hope the valve isn't broken. Let's do the locks and all right. All right. So, uh, like I always mention, I'm always super honest with my reviews and my unboxings and stuff. This is happening live. Like this is super is raw. So it's raw footage. So, uh, I plan to upload it just like this. Uh, we will try and see, we will try it here on video to see if it turns on. And if it'll hold the air, okay? So uh, so you have your two valves here. You can modify the air pressures for those of you that like to use multiple airbrushes like I do. Uh, whenever you are working on your kits, um, it does bring two valves. So you can set two different PSIs with two airbrushes, which is, I believe, super convenient too. Um, so that's actually pretty good. Uh, so let's go ahead and try to turn it on uh, and see what we can do here. So I might, it might leak just for the simple fact that I don't have a cap for the other end. Um, but I know what I can do. Oh no, this might not work either. All right, well, let me grab one of the airbrushes here real quick. Uh, so, so I do have the swallowtail right here. Like I was mentioning before, I did fi we, we did get this fixed and then uh, Gallery did reach out to me and then they corrected my the issue with me. They also sent me another one. They didn't have, um, it didn't have any issues. The trigger pull was great, you know, it was, it was like butter. So, uh, so let's go ahead and plug this one up. We'll probably use, uh, I, uh, I don't have a female connector here. Let me go get a female connector. Give me one. All right, so luckily for me, I have a bunch of these lying around. So, uh, so like I was mentioning before in the previous videos, uh, this one will bring the it'll bring the male, uh, but it won't bring the female. So, uh, you have to make sure you have one of these available for you for yourself. Uh, so, let's go ahead and wire this up. I like the fact that they included braided lines. Um, braided lines are a must. Like I hate normal lines. Let's go ahead and let's try the one that let's try the side the valve that was on the side that was uh, that was loose and all janky. Let's try this one out first. All right, so uh, all right, you got to make sure you always screw on the airbrush. Now, what I do is that usually I would take um, some plumber's tape and I will use it for that extra seal so it doesn't leak. Uh, but you don't have to do that. Uh, that's just a preference of mine. Uh, so let me make sure I tighten it just enough so I can remove it. You go ahead and you go ahead after you're done, you go ahead and plug your your thing in. Uh, let's go ahead and plug this for some power. I should have a plug here handy. 
Uh, give me one second. Let me go ahead and get this cable extended. All right. Well, moment of truth, well. people. Let's go ahead and see if it turns on, right? So it is holding air, which is great. So let's go ahead and use it here. Let's go ahead and use it here and see. See how long. So for those of you that are. For those of you that are watching this, um, if you're not familiar how the um, how the airbrush like airbrush compressor t with tanks work, is that the usually when you buy a compressor by itself uh, that doesn't have a tank, the compressor is working full time. It'll work full time as you're spraying your paint. Uh, if you're someone like me that um, that like that likes to work on long projects then that can that can be a little taxing for compressors right so uh, they'll tend to overheat unless they're dual fan you know there's a, there's a lot of things that go into that so uh, for those of you that are not familiar with that just keep a lookout uh, the reason why people recommend buying a compressor with a tank is to avoid any issues right so uh, they're not just saying it because they it's better because it is better um, however it's more of a uh, concern over um, how much you're gonna get out of the compressor because compressors will get damaged you know they'll burn out you know there, there's a lot of variables that happens temperature you know all that stuff so uh, and that's why people uh, recommend uh, getting one with a tank now now our friends at gallery they did a um, they created this one they also have others they have others in their line of uh, compressors that uh, are also um, they are also very affordable uh, now for those of you that are wondering so the tank is right here it's in the back uh, and you can see the size of the tank it's pretty big compared that to and it's a super light you know this is super light um, so I will be using it in the project that I'm working on now mainly because I need the dual airbrush connector and then I'll have like my water compressor and I'll have this one running at the same time uh, so I will be using both compressors at the same time uh, while I'm working. Um, my biggest thing is that, you know, um, as someone that likes to use airbrush painting a lot, uh, this is very convenient. So if you take a look, usually once you spray like once or twice on a normal compressor, it'll turn on. But since this one has a tank, then you don't have to worry about it. Let's wait for it to turn on one more time and see what happens. All right, so at least I can say that it's working properly and it doesn't have any leaks, which is what my big, which is your biggest concern and should be your biggest concern when it comes to airbrushed uh, compressors that have tanks, is if they will leak. Uh, I can say that this one is not leaking, so we go ahead, you know, the only issue out of box that I had was this right here, where apparently somebody just yanked it in there, uh, and then just, <laughs> just shipped it, uh, but everything, it's fine now, I took it apart, tie, re tighten it back up, uh, and everything was good to go, alright, so, uh, that is it for the unboxing, uh, I will be doing an in-depth review right after the Gundam World, uh, uh, Gundam Builders World Cup, uh, so that way, um, I have some time to focus on my build, so, I'll see you guys next time.